Now we're going to look at a thought experiment, which is probably the most uh, common case of quantum mechanics showing up in popular culture. So this experiment is called the Schrodinger's Cat. So this was thought up in 1935 by Erwin Schrodinger. <clears throat> and Schrodinger thought up this experiment to really show that the Copenhagen interpretation, that the, the standard view of quantum mechanics, uh, gave you some consequences which would just be completely ridiculous for macroscopic objects. So in this experiment, what we've got is we've got some quantum particle, and it can be either, either in two states. It can be either decayed or not decayed. So either like yes or no, one or zero, true or false. Their point is there's just two possible states that this particle can be in. So we got this particle in here, and it's in some little box there. And then we, can, we have some detector which measures the, the state of this particle, and it either is or isn't decayed at whatever point in time. And then if it is decayed, it is connected to a vial of poison here. And whenever the particle decays, this vial of poison is going to break open, and it is going to kill anything inside of this bigger sealed box. But also inside this box, for some reason, there happens to be a cat. Don't ask me why physicists uh, have thought experiments about murdering cats, but uh, they do. So we got this cat in here, and this cat's just going about its day. But whenever this particle decays, that poison's going to open, and that cat is going to be dead. So using the terminology that we've used in the previous couple videos, let's describe the wave function of this particle here, this quantum particle. I'm going to say that this is in some ket q, just describing its state. And let's say that it has a coefficient of square root of 1 half of yes, it has decayed, plus square root of 1 half, no, it ha 1 half, not 1 third, square root of 1 half, no, it hasn't decayed. OK, so this would imply all this that's going on inside this box is is sealed. We don't know what's going on inside the box. We can, we only know outside. We can only know once we look inside the box. So until we look inside the box, <clears throat> there is a 50% chance that this particle has decayed and a 50% chance that it hasn't decayed. So similarly, we can deduce that from this, the state of the cat is in this similar sort of limbo. If we have say our wave function of the cat here, then that should be that there's a 50% chance that the particle has decayed and the cat is dead. And it's a very sad cat because now it's dead. <clears throat> and there's a 50% chance that the cat is still alive. And it is a perfectly happy cat inside the box. Now Schrodinger used this to devise uh, this situation to show that it's completely ridiculous to describe a cat as half alive and half dead, that the cat is both alive and dead until we open the box. Obviously inside the box the cat must be either alive or dead, we just can't know which one it is until we get in there. But according to the standard interpretation of quantum mechanics, according to the Copenhagen interpretation, the cat is both alive and dead. It is, it is neither alive nor dead until we actually measure it. It is in this kind of limbo state of these two uh, eigenfunctions, as we would call them. And then, just as we discussed in wave function collapse, once we, once we open the box and measure the state of the cat, so we're going to open the box and measure whether the cat is alive or dead, then the cat is going to be either 100% alive, happy cat, or 100% dead, and it will be an unhappy cat. Then similarly, as we discussed in wave function collapse, any subsequent measurement, the cat will still be alive uh, Unless, unless this particle changes its state. But any subsequent measurement, the cat will be alive once we have measured it and the cat is alive. But once we measure that the cat is alive, the cat is not going to be dead again until some other state changes. And similarly, if we've measured that the cat is dead, any subsequent measurement beyond that will measure again that the cat is dead. 
Um, death is a rather incurable state as of the beginning of the 20th cent 21st century when this video was filmed. So this is, uh, this is the famous Schrodinger's cat experiment. So if you hear people referring to this on TV shows or in other situations, uh, this is what they're referring to. And it's a nice demonstration of um, kind of the standard Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics and the idea of a wave function collapse.